Good morning folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Hope everybody's safe, hope everybody's well. So today then I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this Titan vacuum cleaner. I've had it for just over three years now. I've absolutely hammered it in a heavy DIY environment and also used it in a domestic setting. Um, it's had a lot of heavy duty use and I wanted to share my views with you having now worked with this for quite some time. I'll reset the camera and get back to you. So the first thing to mention is the fact that I have had no previous experience of this particular product before buying it. However, I am aware of the brand Titan. I've purchased previous products from them and I've been very impressed with them. They represent very good value for money in my opinion, which is why I decided to buy this particular unit. So the maximum output on this then is 1400 watts. And I must say that the actual unit itself, the engine, it's very, very good indeed, um, or the motor plants, I should say. It's never let me down. It's been absolutely spot on, completely reliable, works every time, no issues. I would say though that there are three major problems with this unit. The first one, and the one which became apparent perhaps sooner than the others, was the hose. Now this here is not the hose that comes with the unit, this metal bit here. In fact, this is of a previous vacuum cleaner, and as you can see, I had this for years, but it was metal and it's very, very strong. This is part of the original tube that came with it, and basically it just isn't strong enough it's very flimsy, and if you put too much pressure on it, you're gonna break it. So the first thing that lets down this particular item is the tube that comes with it. So, you know, that's why I replaced it with this one here. Look, it's from an older unit, and I just get the end and plug it in, and this now works a treat. The other issue which I've had is the fact that this brush is not the strongest. You can see I've taped that over, in fact I've done this several times, because this area here, look, it's broken, the plastic's cracked, and therefore I've had to put duct tape around it. The other thing is you can see is the fact that um, this has cracked, and once again I've had to duct tape over that, because where it's cracked, the plastic, does stick out so I've had to trim it down with a very sharp knife and sand it just so there were no sharp edges which would rip up a carpet. So the main problem then or at least problem number one is the um, is the hose and the handle not very good at all in fact they were rubbish. So let's put that to one side. The other main issue which I've had with this are the casters, or the wheels. Now I did a video shortly after buying this and I actually glued most of these casters on. So the way these are fitted to this barrel, you know, it's not very good and uh, they can't come in and done. So you'd be pulling the thing along and then the next thing when you, you know, when you're struggling to give it a pull, when you try to yank it, it's because these casters had come off. So the actual unit which the caster sits in, they're just not fixed um, in a particularly good manner. It's not a very good design, basically. They clamp on the bottom here, but they don't do it effectively. So as I say, I had to super glue them on. So that was another major problem with this unit. So there is a third problem with this unit, which I'm going to mention to you. Now, you know, the problem isn't insurmountable. You can get round it, but you've just got to plan your work. So we can see we have a hole here, and we have one there. So the yellow one there is where you plug your hose when you want to use it as a vacuum cleaner. So, you know, the air's drawn through the unit, through the motor, deposits a crap, and the remaining air comes out of this hole here. So this basically doubles up as a blower. 
which you know is a nice function to have, don't get me wrong. So if you were to use this as a blower or your doodle, just bang it in there and yeah, schmick out, you've got yourself a blower and you can blow dust wherever you want to. And it's particularly handy if you use it to blow dust off tools and um, in those hard to get places. But the problem is the fact that when you're vacuuming, the fact that if you're going to go and do a room, I would start at the doorway and then gradually work my way into the room to make sure the bit left behind has already been uh, vacuumed off dust because if not, this blower will blow it all over the place. So you just got to sort of plan out your work really okay. Now this has got a nice long cable, uh, must be about three meters, absolutely no problem at all with that. As I say, the unit itself is, uh, yeah, it's very reliable. You've got these couple of clips on here. which secures that, you know, it's got a nice space in there. I'll put the capacity on the screen. I can't remember because when I bought this, there were um, a couple of different sizes. So you buy the bags, I think they come in um, um, packs of five. Um, I'll put the price on the screen. Yeah, they're very durable. You can get a lot of stuff in there. This barrel is nice and strong and the filter is also easy to clean. And what I tend to do when I empty the bag, I just get a hand brush, I go out into the street basically, when there's no traffic or, you know, there are no cars nearby, I just give it a good old brush just to clean the filters and it works an absolute treat. So, all that said there, would I buy this unit again? And that depends. I would be hesitant about buying it if it was a normal price. But if it was in a sale and there was a good discount on it, and if I had another hose which I could connect to this, then I'd say, yeah, I'd buy it again. But if I had to make a purchase and this wasn't discounted, if it wasn't in a sale, and if I didn't have that tube, I wouldn't buy it again. I would look for an alternative. And it's a shame really, because as I say, the unit itself is very durable, very hard wearing. It's a very powerful unit. Um, it's got a really good vacuum and a really strong blower on it as well. So anyway, look guys and girls, I hope you found this review useful. And you know, I hope it helps you in your purchasing decisions if you're in the market for something like this. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.